Hello friend, how are you? I hope you are doing well. Whether you are long time subscriber or you have just subscribed my channel, I hope you will find this video helpful, entertaining and engaging. As always, encourage you to leave your thought and feedback in comment section below. Your opinion matter to me and I love hearing from you. So let's start that today information. Zimbabwe has strong foundations for accelerating future economic growth and improving living standards. The economy has excellent human capital, comparable to that of upper middle income economies in sub-Saharan Africa, although some skill shortages are emerging in some sectors. Moreover, Zimbabwe possesses abundant mineral and natural resources that, if well managed, can support the country's development objectives. Nevertheless, Zimbabwe's economic development continues to be hampered by several challenges. Real GDP growth remained high at 6.5% in 2022 from 8.5% in 2021 driven by a continued growth in agricultural production. Mineral exporters benefited from rising high global prices and together with tourism contributed to overall economic growth. However, triple-digit inflation constrained private sector demand. After depreciating sharply from the turn of 2022 to May 2023, the parallel market exchange rate started to appreciate in June, falling to below 35% in July 2023, from over 100% in May 2023 partly reflecting the impact of tight monetary policy and slowing of quasi-fiscal activities. The gap between official and parallel market exchange rate remains unstable. The fiscal deficit was contained in 2022, but quasi-fiscal operations continued. Additional spending, mostly on public investment, procurement of grain, and social protection was driven by inflation and was matched by higher revenue. Revenues increased due to high inflation and exchange rate valuation gains as some of the taxes were collected in US dollars. The fiscal balance was in surplus during the first half of 2023 as the government slowed spending to contain inflation and exchange rate pressures. The government transferred all quasi-fiscal operations QFOs, from the central bank to the Treasury, and this will increase interest payments during the second half of 2023. The current account surplus narrowed during the first half of 2023 as the widening of the trade deficit outpaced the growth of remittances. Real GDP growth is projected to slow in 2023, constrained by global headwinds structural bottlenecks, and price and exchange rate instability. Growth in 2023 will be driven mostly by agriculture and services, particularly tourism. Manufacturing and mining sector growth are projected to slow in 2023, partly affected by electricity shortage, inflation, and exchange rate pressures. The fiscal Balance is projected to turn into a deficit in 2023 on a high wage bill, high interest payments from QFOs, and the resumption of spending after elections. Key developmental challenges, although extreme poverty has declined. Since its peak in 2020, it remains high in the context of cyclical agricultural production and elevated food prices. Persistent inflation, high dependence on low productivity agriculture, slow structural transformation, and intermittent shocks like drought, natural disasters, and the COVID-19 pandemic have contributed to the high rate of poverty and vulnerability in Zimbabwe. High, unsustainable debt and arrears to international financial institutions IFIs, continue limiting fiscal space and growth potential. Take care and goodbye.